hello guys welcome back to my channel so do watch my video from start to end to have a good understanding of how we can install the apk on our android device so in this video we are going to see how we can install the apk on our android device so one of the way of installing the android device is by dragging the apk that we are having and other method is by installing it from android studio so for installing it from android studio you should have your code base ready and your application should be stable to install that so we are not going to see in that way because you need uh, maybe your development or production app which is not for possible right now because we need to create some kind of application in order to install it right now the third uh, option is like by using apm inspector and if you, you are also having the apk then you can use adp command line to install it So first of all in order to so we are going to see maybe this uh, approach and uh, this approach uh, so in order to first install the application what you need to have is that uh, you need to have your Android studio installed and configured correctly and uh, Android path and right home path all these should be configured correctly now what I will do I will I mean you also need to have your Java configuration done and setup should be done so I will just launch my Android studio and in order to install the APK I need to have one device right so instead of using a real device we are just going to create an simulator and we are going to install it on that simulator so if we go here then I have already created some simulator so I will just launch this AVD manager and after launching the AVD manager what you can see I have one device which is already created so if I can just go through quickly like how you can create a new device so if you want to create a new device you can just go here on create virtual device then you can select the option which device you want to create so here are a lot of options like virtual devices which you want to create like tv phone vr os tablets automotive and then here are some hardware profiles you don't really really need these things and here it will show you the summary of the configuration of the device that you are creating and once you have selected maybe you wanted to have a pixel device and size 5.5 and resolution 1440 and into 2560 and 560 dpi so these things are necessary because in, maybe for general testing you might not be needing it that much but if you are having an application which is used by millions of users so these we need to take into consideration these kind of things like on which device we want to test because even pixel density and these kind of things can cause some issue within the app now once you have selected this configuration what you can do you can just select on next and uh, if you are not having the release name rq pi so these are the os versions if it is not installed you need to just click on this and wait for the installation to be completed since i already have this thing installed so i can just go here so, go, so this is android 11 google api and i can just go here next and then i can give the device name and once i will finish it will create start creating a device so i can also choose the orientation like landscape or portrait so this is how we can create a virtual device i am not going to create a device because i already have one device created instead i will cancel it and i will just launch and if we open this so you can see that uh, this device is already installed uh, sorry this application is already installed on my device so what i will do i will 
so i will just to minimize this and i will remove the application so that i can install it again so i will go here and click and then i will uninstall it so now we can see the app is uninstalled now in order to install it what there are like we are going to see the two options so one option is i can just drag and drop so this option we can just use to drag and drop so for that what we need to do we have this application and if i go here and i go to the finder so this is where our application is right now if i want to install this i mean it can be anywhere i have just stored it in my project folder directory so it is here you can have it in any drive or anywhere you can just open this and you can just drag and drop to install it so yeah this is installing and our application is installed now there is one more way so the other way is like through apm inspector so we will just go here and install the application again now if uh, we want to install it through apm inspector then we need to launch the apm inspector so i will just close everything to show like how we are launching apm inspector and everything so we need to install the apm inspector do watch my video of apm inspector like how we are using apm inspector i have already created one video on that so it's a very good video and you will have you will be having a good understanding like how we can find element on all these things and have i have already discussed about desired capabilities also in that video so once you see this video you should go ahead and see like how we are creating the desired capabilities so once apm inspector is launched we can start it on any server and then here we need to create the device capabilities for this device and the application that we want to launch so in order to do that uh, i have already discussed the whole thing like how you can create the desired capability so say for example i am picking up the already created desired capability so you need to create all the desired capabilities by entering every data and uh, once that is done you need to pass the app location so this is the same location which is like i found it from here so if i i mean you can save it anywhere doesn't matter but this should be the exact path so if i go here and i want to find the path so Sorry. copy path so yeah you can see this is the path absolute path which we need to have to install the application now if i want to launch the app and install the app so i don't have the app here right so now what i will do i will just start the session so keep in mind that i have given everything platform name device name app package app activity no reset automation name and the app path in order to install it if any one of these is missing then you might not be able to install the application through uh, apm inspector so it's taking a bit of time so let's wait till it gets installed okay uh, maybe some socket hang up issue but our app is installed so yeah this is how we can install the app and uh, this is how you can install the apk on your android device and it's not only about the simulator but on the real device also you can install it similarly do like my video do subscribe to my channel and share this video and let me know what all videos you want to create so that i can work on those things and uh, you can let me know in the comment section that uh, how i can improve in my videos also